I feel like in this industry, people are so, they're so obsessed with being bound to a certain category, a certain trend, something that's going on where it feels like, like it's going to be your opportunity to, to catch the fish, to, you know, to get the hook because there's so many more people looking at it by, by the time you, you master whatever this trend is, whatever the genre of music is that you're going towards for the reason of, of getting more people's attention. By the time you, by the time you master it, by the time you get to it, the trend's over. And I feel like the reason you see people starting trends has nothing to do with them chasing something. It has to do with them going off the beaten path for a second and doing something that feels like their own. They're creating the trend. It's the only reason they're not behind it. And and I think, I don't know for sure, um, it's definitely something that I've struggled with and that a lot of the people that I work with think about and struggle with is do I stick to my guns and do I create something that feels the most like me, but maybe not like the what what feels the most popular at the time? And hopefully what I do becomes the norm, becomes the trend. People want to do what I'm doing. Or do I do something that helps me get the attention and then I, I kind of float over to the side of creating what feels the most comfortable to me? And I feel like a lot of artists or just producers or, or anybody in this industry, and I think like a lot of other industries too, but very, very much so the music industry is they get caught in these traps where you stop creating to create, you stop creating for the love of it. And I, I know that's not everybody's reason for doing this. That's not everybody's, you know, direction they're going. But I feel like a lot of people just want the opportunity to get seen and to get heard. Therefore, they, they jump onto trains that are not, you know, that, that have pretty much already passed. They're just catching the last couple couple cars of it. But by the time they get on, you know, there's nothing else left. And I think it's hard to say without have done it without this being something that I've done successfully, but I feel like creating something that comes fully naturally versus something that feels the hottest at the time gives you the largest opportunity to to be on top, to find the trend, to be the trend. But I also feel like maybe there is something to learning about what's going on at the time and what feels the most popular at that point because maybe maybe the whole point of it is to take the pieces of it that that maybe will last and, and hopefully you know take the bet on wh whether it's a trap song and you're like you know these fast hi-hats are going to be what what makes my song connect with the younger crowd or not maybe taking those hi-hats and not taking the whole entire song is is the necessary part or maybe none of it is I'm not 100% sure that it matters or that there's one or the other, that's for sure. But how can you know without being successful at it, without finding success in music? And I think that brings us over to another thing, which is so many people don't find success in music and end up sitting on this boat where they're so sick of doing doing it from an angle that feels natural, that they start making decisions to, to sway their art, to sway their music, to hope, hopefully make it more popular, more pop. But I also just had a conversation with a friend of mine, Mitty, who's a phenomenal pop artist or, or, or a producer. And he's working with, you know, people that, that I look up to. And his whole angle is... Part of his, you know, part of his angle for his art is the pop is is his way of of feeling that success in his music. He likes to see it reach the masses, as I think a lot of people do. But maybe because of that, if you are doing the pop thing, you're not, you know, you're not degrading your art. You're not doing something that's less than what you could be doing. Maybe that is what you're supposed to be doing. And for somebody like him, I think that is the case. But for somebody like me, I don't know if me going towards a certain genre or trend just because it might help me catch on faster is the right way to go. I mean, I feel like when you look back at a lot of the best artists in the world, they're the people who created the sound that, that, that they're known for, you know, or if they didn't create it, they're the ones who made it popular. They're the ones who figured it out. 
and found a way to make it connect with everybody else. I don't know if that's something that maybe I should have done and maybe that would have helped me be more successful as an artist. Or if maybe me continuing to make things that are truly natural to me and, and make me happy, maybe eventually one day that'll have a larger payoff than if I swayed the other direction for a day. I don't know. I think everybody's got their own perspective on this and their own version of this. But it's something that I hear about a lot. And I just had a session with with a friend of mine and a client of mine, Hilton, and we were talking about the same thing. Is it worth finding the top of the mountain sooner if you're so tired you can't enjoy what's at the top you know like like there's shortcuts and maybe running's a shortcut but uh is it always what's necessary to get you to the top you, I, is it worth getting to the top so quickly that you just can't enjoy it and I don't, I don't know if that's the case I want longevity I want I want when I get to a place where I feel like I've I've done it whatever that is and maybe maybe that's the whole the whole thing is maybe maybe there is no you've done it in this industry because we're all so hungry for it that we're never satisfied. And the thing that, that we wanted yesterday is now, you know, something of the past. And now we want something more. And maybe we are the same thing as a money hungry businessman or whatever that is. Ours is just a different a different direction. You know, we're not maybe we're not in it for the money, but we're never going to feel satisfied because there's always more we can learn with our instrument, more we can we can learn with our production or our songwriting. I feel like this whole industry is just this weird chase where you're trying to you're trying to feel like a rock star, but all the rock stars that you watched on TV, you're watching their their process of building. You're not watching their end. You know, everybody who's who's technically made it and is an old man now, you don't want to go see them in in concert as badly. Yet they've made it. You wanted to see them while they were trying, while they were creating new things and, and trying to be successful, not, you know, in the act of being successful. I feel like this whole industry is just this weird goose chase, but maybe that's what's so sexy about it. That's what's so enticing is that you never have to feel fully satisfied. Therefore, you're always hungry. There's always something to, to go for. There's always something to get. There's persistence that is always necessary. And I guess also finding a balance with that. And as you get older and have a family, learning how to be an adult, be a, a father, be a mother, be a whatever it is, but also still have this hungriness for your art. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I think I'm rambling, but I would love to hear other people's thoughts on what they think is the way to go. Do, do you sway for the masses or do you wait for the masses? I don't know guess we'll figure it out one day. Thank you everybody for listening. I appreciate it. Goodbye.